What's up, YouTube? We're pranking my buddy today. It's gonna be epic. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Shh, shh, shh. What's up, you? <laughs> oh, no, it's a prank. It's a prank. Oh, he's so mad. The following Thursday. Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? Uh, I made a really bad choice when I decided to call my friend a racial slur to his face. And I never say stuff like that. It's the first time I've ever said that. It just so happened that I shot it and edited it and uploaded it. So you all heard it. But I'm sorry you guys like took offense to that. 24 hours later. Hey, uh, it's been a few days. The first apology video did not go over well. I think, you know, I didn't mean it if we're being honest. So now I'm gonna try to, I'm so sorry. I've, I've already taken several racial diversity classes and I'm gonna do better. Um, even though it's pretty clear I'm a garbage person at this point, I'm, I'm trying to just make you believe I'm not. So I'm so sorry and it's just not who I am. And I'm gonna not post online for about six months and I'll be back. Um, thank you, yeah. I'm so sorry, I, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have thrown those tire spikes out on the highway and made that person crash. I thought it'd be a funny clickbait. I'm very sorry, I just know that it's not like me. It's so unlike me to be a huge jerk uh, constantly online and in real life. Wait, it's very different. When I'm not on the cameras, I'm so nice, so please accept my apology, please, because I... I really liked your attention in the first place, and now I don't like the attention. It's pretty brutal. Apology videos. It's so funny. It's a new thing. I what if I'm gonna start doing apology videos in like my normal life or something? Just like I, uh, Katie and I got in a little fight the other day. I was like over. We were just we were doing like yard work, and uh, I don't even know. It was like we were trying to plug in the pressure washer, and we couldn't get it plugged in. I was like, plug it in. She's like, I don't. I I can't get it plugged in. I was like, ugh. And she was like, you're being mean. And then I just have to go into my studio and make a video. I go, I'm, I'm sorry I yelled at you when, when you couldn't plug in the pressure washer. The pressure of washing. It's not, it's just not like me, okay? When the cameras are off, I'm a nice guy. But when something comes over me, I just want to say sorry. Then I have to upload it to YouTube League and send it to her. That's that's how we work these days. The apology video train is great, and it's a it's a very specific playbook of apologies, right? We all know this. you are first and foremost. You have to most of these people who need an apology video. I like to think, well, I mean, I was garbage person a little bit, but that but that doesn't define them, right? That, everyone's a good person deep down, not really. Everyone can be, but they they do something. They finally get, get caught up with them. Okay, I got to apologize quick to get this over with. And then everyone's like, we can tell you didn't mean it. And they have to do another one. It's so good, man. And it's, I, I watch them all, man. They're funny. Uh, <laughs> I just, I, yeah, I've been, I've, been, I've been practicing my apology videos with, in marriage and with my friends. I apologize a lot. And I, I just record it just in case. Derek at, at, has them. He's editing them together. <laughs> I, out and can't see me. Yeah, exactly. He's not in it. No face reveal for Derek yet. He's, uh, oh, just wait till you see him. Maybe you'll see him on the Patreon. You guys ought to join Patreon. Go to TreyKinney.com slash Patreon. But we are back with another episode of Correct Opinions, episode 83. Uh, we got a good episode today. Uh, what are we talking about? Uh, I think we're doing another installment of Crazy White Baby Names. We, uh, you know, I tell about my times in Phoenix. We... We got to talk a little about WrestleMania and oh, the Kong vs. Godzilla is a movie now. All that and more. Correct opinions, roll music. Correct opinions. Correct opinions. Woo! Come on. I got the thighs out, baby. I'm in full shorts mode. I did a little online shopping last night. Oh. I haven't done that in a while. I thought I, I don't know. I feel like I always get on and I'm just like another t-shirt. You guys see what I wear? Another black t-shirt and jeans. And I'm trying to I'm trying to find right now my stage wardrobe because I've right when I was about to be on stage for a long time, pandemic, and we're starting to get back at it. Thanks to everyone who was in Phoenix. Vibes were very up. 
Um, some girls actually came to the show with Vibe Drop shirts. Shout out to them. I saw you. I saw you. I, I can't meet any of you because of COVID. Okay, I'm sorry. But uh, that's what the people want. I, I'm i still finding my... I love your alls, my recties, my Trace <laughs> I'd love your opinions on what, what do I need to rock on stage because I'm still finding it. I just... If you come to my shows, I think I just wear a t-shirt. I'm like, I could probably do better than that. I look like Dave Matthews or something. I need to step it up a little. But then I, I don't want to do too much. I'm finding it. So let me know because I don't know. But we had a great time in Phoenix. Man, the shows were great. We, uh, we like to do, uh, spoiler alert, just for you guys, but we like to do fun. We, we try to get someone on the volunteer for the audience on the stage at some point during the show just to it's such a fun element we just gotta if you know you know my phoenix people you saw we had a we had a late night thursday show and let me just say the woman who came on stage could barely get on stage and that was fun um she she was having a good time and that's just what out here what people do in phoenix maybe on a late thursday to trey kennedy show you never know so she could barely get up on off the stage. She, we literally were like, and everyone give it up for her. All right. And usually when we do that, it's like the people know, okay, my time here is done. They get off stage. And she just stood there with me. It was like me and her on stage for a good like 30 seconds after. I was like, okay, you need, hey, get off, get off the stage. She was like, where do I, what do I do? And people, people started to be like, oh no, is she going to be, is she going to like puke on stage? But it was a good time. And that's the craziness of a Trey Kennedy show. A lot of people also hitting me up saying, Trey, you're going on tour. Yeah, we're going on tour. Get your tickets. Trey, is the show kid-friendly? I have a, my 13-year-old loves your YouTube videos. People, you guys know me, right? Do you think you're going to show up to my live show? And it's just going to be like Magic Mike meets Dave Chappelle jokes or something? What do you, what do you think I'm going to do? You guys follow me for years. It's just like, yeah, you know what? I think the best move for Trey Kennedy would to be, I'm going to go on tour. I'm just going to, nothing but, nothing but slurs and sexist jokes. And uh, we're gonna, I'm going to strip. Uh, we're going to, there's going to be burlesque dancers in the background. That's what we're going to, no, bring your kid. I don't know what you think is kid friendly, but it's, you know me. Okay. It's going to be a good time. I did some online shopping, man. I, I I don't know what to get. I just keep I just buy more T-shirts, and I'm like I should I go back and forth. I don't know if it's anyone else. I got I go back and forth. Like I don't I don't know what to get. I get on Nike.com, and I feel like there's stuff these days. This was what I wear in middle school. Big graphic tee with cutoff. I don't get it anymore. I, I'm starting to feel old, which is scary. For the first time, I guess the kids now are wearing baggy pants. We're supposed to wear skinny pants. I don't. That's that makes me nervous. I don't want to start getting behind on all this. I want to make sure I'm still bussing. Sheesh, Derek, you know that trend. Sheesh. Oh, see, that's scary, right? That's one of my favorite new ones on TikTok. You should see my new landscaping. Sheesh. See, I know it. If you don't know it, it's you're old. So yeah, it's y'all. My people listen to the podcast, you got my word. I'm going to try to keep you up with the times, okay? For instance, I'm going to keep you updated on new movies coming out. Godzilla vs. Kong. Kong vs. Godzilla. I don't know what it is. Zilla vs. Kong. Man. Oh, it's like CGI WWE. It's insane. It's awesome. Wait, we got to watch this trailer. These movies just never, never fail so i don't know how many of these he's made this this movie it's a whole movie where just a big lizard fights a big monkey listen to this trailer dude look at this if you look at the godzilla vs kong oh oh okay monkey on a ship a huge lizard comes out of the ocean how is the lizard in the ocean reptiles are not salt water animals well i guess there are some is I guess okay. Godzilla's a saltwater croc. It's Godzilla. What was that? It's Godzilla. <laughs> so dramatic. It's Godzilla. He's back. So intense. So unnecessary. Oh, just a right hook. That wasn't even cool. 
Kong just, they just kind of square up. He just gives them a little Jake Paul right hook there. On a, they're on a cargo ship. How do they get out there? Yeah, it's like well, we gotta we gotta strap the big monkey to a cargo ship. We gotta get on the Atlantic because that's where he's. That's where Godzilla was chilling, man. He was out in the middle of the ocean. Was he causing any problems? It seemed like it was fine until you rolled up on a with a huge monkey on his turf. Just let him rule the seas. It's not bothering anybody. Okay, he has plenty of room. The seas are only getting bigger, right? By Florida. <laughs> and Godzilla's just let him... I mean, just get Dwayne Johnson to handle Godzilla. Or Kong. It's confusing. These movies... I mean, where will this end? Eventually, they'll just be like... The Rock versus... The Rock. This year, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And a massive boulder... It's rolling across the earth. Dangerous times. These are dangerous times. You gotta have a guy, just a Mexican guy with that kind of voice in there. These are dangerous times. These are dangerous times. There's a huge lizard in Times Square. It's very dangerous. This monkey is getting very big. In a world. This summer. He's out there and he's hurting people and we don't know why. He's hurting people, we don't know it. Why can't he be a nice lizard? Seeing here. I'm the same opinion. There's something provoking him. We can't tell. What is it? They just, they just found out he has like allergies or something. They're like, oh, he just needed a Zyrtec. And he's fine. He's, he was just hungry. There was a war. There was a war in a world. Dwayne The Rock Johnson versus the biggest boulder known to man. Who can stop it? A rock is heading right for the Empire State Building. And they're the last one standing. I keep reaching for greatness because I'm built from it. Yeah! <laughs> who bows to who? Nobody goes stop the me. Who bows to who? Kong bows to no one. Kong bows to no one! <laughs> oh, now the lizard is... It's Yu-Gi-Oh now. The lizard... Look at this screenshot. The Yugo is blasting cosmic rays out of his mouth. <laughs> I oh I did okay. Now the lizard is a Jedi. It has a lightsaber mouth. Where are they gonna go with these? Okay, we're gonna reimagine this. This is uh, give me a give me a template, Eric. Who is the give me give me a, what first animal comes to your head? First animal. <laughs> Besides gorilla or lizard? Uh, antelope. 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 <laughs> okay. Antelope. I like it. Okay, antelope. Another animal. Uh, tortoise. Antelope and a tortoise. In a world. This is our only chance. This is our only chance. Helicopters. Ocean. We have to take it. We have to take it. Huge tortoise, sea turtle, the size of Australia. Maybe a tortoise isn't so slow after all. And an antelope galloping through the Saharan Desert over to the Mojave. And this child. Speed versus stealth. I knew that they had a bond. Versus Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I made a promise to protect her. We must protect her. The one child. The sea okay. turtle wants to eat the child. Kong did the same. Finding Nemo versus the cast of Zootopia. And then the uh, the turtle and the animal, the meat in the water, water in the air, and the land. And somehow Dwayne the Rock Johnson wins. That's that movie comes out once a year. So. Everyone get excited for Shell versus Speed. <laughs> That's what I'll be called. Woo! Come on now. Godzilla vs. Kong. I can't do it, y'all. This I saw it's like breaking records. I mean, it looks cool, right? But the, I, it's so shy. You can tell they have just experts doing the CGI. Let's spend all the time and budget on that. What about what about the script? Um, 
I don't know, just have some have a scary guy go, these are dangerous times. And then have a girl, you know, who's going to bow to Kong? Everyone, because Kong bows to no one. <laughs> and then lightsaber out of Godzilla. It's like, yeah, we just got this new effect in special effects. We can do a lightsaber out of this lizard if you want. Like, just print it. People love it. Who cares? It's CGI, CGI WrestleMania, baby. CGI WWE, um, which I saw what Logan Paul was on WWE. What? That's another thing I've never watched. But, man, is that good stuff. W, uh, they're, they're trying to, you know... As with all of the people, they're trying to get the younger crowds. Let's hire a TikToker, a YouTuber to come do it. You know, Ju you know, I don't know what's next. Judge Judy's going to have Addison Raby, then the next judge or something. It's just, it's so disingenuous, but I don't know. Maybe I need to go on WrestleMania. WrestleMania, they have, obviously it's very scripted. It's fake. That's fine. It's scripted. And... What? They should have me on it, man. Be like, all right, Trey, listen. You're going to go out there. Uh, Randy Orton, that's the only guy I know. He's going to he's gonna suplex you. So you go out there and you're just, you're going to act like you're on the phone in the middle of the ring because you got a business call. You're a business. You're a podcaster. You're going to be doing a podcast in the middle of the ring. So what's up with these crazy white baby names? Randy Orton goes, I named my daughter Daffodil. Watch out, watch out, watch out. And then he's going to, suplex you and they're supposed to act like I'm in a lot of pain I'd be like okay print it let's do it and then uh, I would just go out there and go off script improv because I'm an improv guy I'd be like what can we just improv like no you gotta stone cold Austin's gotta win like, no let's just improv it get me out there and like watch out watch out watch out and I just move to this left a little bit and he falls on the ground and then I just put my hands up in the air <laughs> whoa Trey 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 and they're like Trey St stop Trey and then the the like ring girl comes out and I just I just go over there dip her down like I'm gonna plant one on her elbow suplex that's the WWE is still the only place you can hit a woman and people like it they still like guys are out there suplexing women and they're fine with it uh, it's a it's a real it's a true kind of one of a kind deal and uh, yeah maybe Trump will come out bust a few tables like the Buffalo Bills. That's Trey's episode of WWE, baby. Take some of that. I'm going off script. I'm improv it. I'm making it interesting. I don't know if anyone watches this. It's like, um, it's just like the human version of Monster Jam. It's really something else. And I, I would like to go to one. I'd like to see who was there. I feel like it'd probably, you know, have a lot of overlap with like Nickelback fans and people who apply to go on uh, the Mari show so or Jerry Springer and uh, yeah that's my thoughts on that alrighty let's get into uh, it's been a while let's crazy white baby yeah <laughs> oh okay someone emailed in always hey always hit me up email me correct opinions at trachier.com or DM the Instagram this is some a couple good stories. Someone found a Reddit page where someone said, "Hey, have you has there has anyone ever come across or anyone a nurse or someone who know someone tried their name their kid's such a bad name the nurse stepped in and was like, "Ma'am, I'm not gonna allow you to do that." Um, we have a couple stories here, and I just want to say these women are not all heroes wear capes, right? Somewhere, somewhere scrubs and tell real life scrubs to stop it. Um, apparently the parents wanted to name their child Monster Galileo. Monster Galileo and the nurse pleaded with them not to. When they wouldn't budge, she called child services. Wow. This nurse, we got to find her and get her on the pod. She literally calls people. It's like, hey, uh, child services, I'm a nurse. I'm not sure these parents are fit uh, to par to raise this child. They're like, oh my gosh, okay, what are they on drugs or what? Um, they must be because they want to name their child Monster Galileo. 
Um, yet that wasn't even the worst name mentioned uh, through all these nurses who were talking about um, uh, these experiences. Another nurse spoke on a parent who attempted to name their daughter after a toilet. Latrine. <laughs> um, I explained to them, please don't name your poor baby after a hole in the ground that soldiers dump in. Um, she was horrified and changed it to Katrina. Uh, two days later, her Hurricane Katrina hit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't want to say she deserved it because no one deserves that. Uh, but kind of adds up. Latrine. It's like, <laughs> yeah, we want to name our we don't name our child Monster Galilea. We want to name her that. No, don't like Lily. Don't call your kid Monster. Okay, you know what? We'll change it to <laughs> this name them before disasters. Just unlucky. They're twins. We'll name them. No, don't go there. They're my okay. Another story. My classmate's mother was a maternity nurse, and she has a couple who wanted to name their son Colin, but wanted to give him a unique spelling, so they spelled it C O L O N. That's Colin. Hey, who in the world is ever gonna go Colin? That's Colin. And what? Why does everyone want their? This is has so much to do with number two. Stop naming your son colon and latrine so these nurses child services uh yeah hey i'm a nurse we deliver babies here so i'm just calling whenever i have a, a an issue at hand that i feel uncomfortable with i i call child services i want y'all to step in and maybe do something maybe put this kid into foster care i don't know what he's having I'm like okay what what's happening ma'am did they hit the baby uh no well they hit him with a pretty brutal name uh, which is sticks and stones yeah we all know words hurt worse um, I mean, that's at some point, at some point, we're going to have to label this as child abuse because I, at, I mean, imagine going through your whole life, your name's colon. I, I mean, I think there'll be studies one day. They'll be like, all right, kids with whack names, they struggle to get jobs. They, uh, you know, oftentimes are more lonely. They struggle to, uh, to just overall find fulfillment in life because everyone's like the your name's the most important thing about you what's your name trey what's your name derek okay got it move it on i don't have to spend 30 seconds going wait it's spelled what way you got it what someone sent me uh oh there's another one someone sent me one of those classic like front so front yard sign things oh, i gotta find that where was that uh crazy white baby names got a lot of emails here it's good stuff is that it oh what's that one Someone sent me this. Oh, they named their son Xerxes. No! Xerxes was a bad guy. This is our son Stalin. What are you doing? Xerxes. Oh, he was born today just before 4 a.m. He's got two older sisters who are excited to meet him. If all goes as planned, um, he's going to take over the Mediterranean. And then somebody sent me this, which is great. Blakely's baby Q. Blakely. You're like, okay, I've heard Blakely. That's fine. But this is where people get you. Spelled B-L-A-Y-K-L-I-E. That's why it's like, oh, excuse me. What's your name? Uh, Trey. You'll go T-R-E-Y. We got it. You gotta go Blakely, but it's spelled B-L-A-Y-K-L-E-E-Y. Oh, actually, I forgot. I don't even. Blakely's baby Q. Which sounds like they're, are they cooking babies? Is that a clever name for a barbecue about a baby? Is it, are they barbecuing babies? We don't know. Maybe <laughs> these people got screw loose. We don't know that. It's just tough when you got to meet someone. You go, what's your name? Man, dang, I think you're really cute. I'd like to, what's your name? Latrine. All right, I'm going to head out because holy cow, I can't. Dude, wow, we're really, we saw your resume, or, you know, we got a recommendation, we wanted to interview you, what's your name? Monster. All right, get out of our office. <laughs> I don't know who, I mean, I know it's not your fault, but you got their genes in you at least, and that can't be a good sign. Get out. <sighs> crazy white, crazy white baby names. Hey, does your breath stink? Put a mint in your mouth. Does your big wireless bill stink? 
Put some Mint Mobile in your life. Ha <laughs> ha, you're getting ripped off by one of the big wireless providers? If we've learned anything, there's always there's a catch, right? So when I first heard of Mint Mobile, and they have premium uh, wireless service for $50 a month, I was like, okay, what's the catch? There isn't one. And believe it or not, they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. So they cut those costs, and they pass them on to you. Okay, uh, they just pass, it's sweet, sweet savings, baby. I had Mint Mobile. They, uh, I do, still do. They sent me a, uh, a plan, shipped it right to my door, put it in a phone. Uh, same number, same context. It all worked fine. It, it did the same. It texted, it, it got online, it made calls. What am I doing? So if you're trying to save some money, get Mint Mobile. It's just 15 bucks a month. All plans come with unlimited talk and text. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan. Keep your contacts. If you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven-day money-back guarantee. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at $15 a month. So my offer for y'all, um, your new wireless plan is here, 15 bucks a month. Uh, it ships right to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash tray. That's mintmobile.com slash tray. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month. Mintmobile.com slash tray. Hey, when it comes to paying off debt, it can often feel like a uphill battle, right? High interest rates resulting in minimum monthly payments keeps you in an endless cycle of debt, but Upstart can help you get ahead. Right, upstart, get ahead. You get, okay, are you carrying a credit card balance up month after month? You're not the only one. People do it. Well, join the thousands of happy borrowers who made that final payment thanks to Upstart. They can help. Um, if you dread looking at that credit card statement, don't worry. Upstart, uh, they give you a lot of relief of being free of credit card debt. Let me tell you how. It's the fast and easy way to pay off your credit card debt with personal loan all online. That's right. That's what Upstart does. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. Unlike other lenders, Upstart looks at more than just your credit score like your income and employment history. This means they can offer smarter rates with trusted partners. Um, I, I got online. They do this five-minute online rate check, so you can see um, just upfront, very transparent, um, what, what kind of loans you can get between $1,000 to $50,000. It's great, and there's a better deal than these other places you can get it. You ought to try Upstart. I love it. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash tray. That's upstart.com slash tray. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you, okay? One loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash tray. Let's talk about the Kardashians again. Oh, these people are great. They never get old. Well, they do get old. They do look older, but they try not to. Chloe, there's a, so this was going around. Chloe Kardashian, she had a photo going around of her. It was just an unedited photo. Unedited photo. She was in a bikini. She looked like a normal gal, you know. Looked looked fine, but she didn't look like a porcelain doll. So she was like, "This is." They came up with a statement. They're like, you just got to understand how hard it is to be us for these, just to trying to live up to these unrealistic standards. It's just very difficult. It's like, what? You, who, you set the standards. <laughs> no one looked, no one was like, I need to have a behind the size of a truck and tell you guys. No one was, everyone was like, yeah, you're supposed to be, you guys set the standard. It's like, I'm, it's like if I was, if it's like if I start, you know, I start a podcast and I'm I, I'm like I'm gonna post a podcast every week, and I go, guys, it's just so hard to try to. I mean, you guys just want a podcast every week. It's hard. Thank like, you. No, know, you did it. No one, I, you set the standard. You can't. That's but that's why we love these people, and it's so good. That's why you know when you you love when Kim Card Kim Kardashian's officially a billionaire. Not bad for a girl with no talent, but seriously, that's these people won the lottery. Let's not, I, I, I pause. I was like, should we give him credit? I mean, Kim Kardashian, she can't be easy to make a billion dollars, but no, I think for her, it actually was very easy. Yeah. I think yeah, she just, it just happened. Yeah. I think that happens to some people like, uh, yeah, these Kardashian, it's very difficult. You set the standard. You set the standard. Don't just, you look fine. You got to touch up these photos. Very difficult. I, uh, I read a story. Kim Kardashian got caught by paparazzi, and you could see a little cellulite. And now she like won't show her. She like wears pants and skirts all the time now. It's like, yeah, you're a normal person. It's okay. It's all right. You have a billion dollars. Self-made. Kylie 
is a billionaire, Kylie Jenner, self-made. That's right. When her, when someone came to her and said, hey, will you sign this and we'll put Kylie on this lipstick and sell it for you? She had to sign that. And that wasn't, I mean, she did it. She, it's not like she did nothing. <laughs> okay. She said, okay, I'm down. And then they sold it all. Uh, she, she had to post on her Instagram. That's what's crazy, man. I, people like me, I'm out here like, I gotta, I gotta really think this through and try to post something that people like. And then some people, people just like to follow and I'm, I'm part of it too. I saw the, uh. Oh, I saw this. The, uh, the, all y'all laughing like something funny. Uh, catch me outside, that girl. She turned 18. And did you see this? Yeah. On her 18th birthday, she said, OnlyFans is here. She made a million dollars, which is creepy. Now we have however many tens of thousands of men who are like, come on. One more day. One more day. Yikes. We got a... What? Who made the adult age 18 in this country? Have you ever met... Has Does anyone know of any 18-year-old? Have you have you ever met a single 18-year-old? We'd be like, yeah, you're good to go, man. You got to figure it out. I, I think the legal age of being an adult should be uh, I don't, 30. I don't think I'm there yet. I, I still have to call my daddy for help for things. What, who made that rule? That's one thing. People are like, we got to, we, let's talk about gun laws. Let's talk about, you know, voting rights. This, that. We just got to talk about, can we revisit what age you should be an adult? I think it shouldn't be an age thing. You got to like, you just, you know, there's like a citizenship test. There should be an adulthood test. You got to show up. You say, okay, uh, you got to load, you got to, you got, you got darks, you got whites. You got a little laundry here. See, you see where I was going with that? That's how I was going. We're talking adult stuff. You got your darks and your whites. Do you separate them or not? Whoa, is it a little deeper than that? No, it's a laundry test. Okay. I didn't mean to say that. And then you got to go. You got to. Okay. Your AC just went out. What are you going to do? And if you go, daddy, can you help? Not adult. If you, oh, oh, April 15th is coming around. You got to file those taxes. Mommy, did you you took an account of class in college? Can you help me? Not an adult. If what you got to pass some tests, man, you got to pay your taxes, you got to do your laundry. You have to, um, you have to go through a test. What are you gonna name your babies? And you have to list names that make sense. You have to, um, you have to be able to look at a. I've, I feel like my my men out there, you have to be able to be able to look at a pretty girl and not be like, I want it. You have to be able to, you know, oh, that's a woman. You have to calm down. Uh, if you're a lady, you have to um, not go see midnight premieres of Magic Mike 2. That is, I don't, I'm not rocking with, that's kind of weird to me. So there's a lot of things. I think we need an adult test in the country. 18 year olds. Um, oh, is this, I wonder if, I don't think this is a spam call, but I'm going to, if it's not, it's going to be awkward. Hello. Oh, oh, we'll call them back. I don't think that was what I was looking for. We were looking for our good friends over in India. They are savvy folks. I saw the AT&T starting um, commercials that are like part of their pitch now is we'll shut down your spam call, call for you. I'm like, yeah, why are we, how, we got people in outer space. We can't shut down this rackety operation happening and with these tiny offices in India, figure it out, AT and T and whatever. Come on, I don't need these people calling me named Sean. Sean cussed me out. Sean cussed Derek out. Oh yeah, hello, to, hello. This is Sean with a call. It. It's like, all right, dude. It seems a little iffy. F you. Bye bye. That's what they do. And listen, we love the Indian people. Indian people don't like these people either. We got to get that straight. Okay, that's an easy generalization. There's a billion people in India. If all of the people in India were calling us, the world would end. We wouldn't, the cells would fall down. I mean, that's a lot of calls. It's a very select view. We got to remember that. Holy cow. Um, so shout out to our Indian brothers and sisters, our Indian listeners. If you're out there, if we have an Indian listener or two, show us some love. We love you. 
Um, you know, we're trying to get a diversity in here. We do these shows. I love. I just I stepped on shit out in, uh, on stage in one of the shows at Phoenix. I saw a lot of white people, <laughs> but man, I get great. There's always there's always some diversity, and I love. I make some jokes uh, about black people, and it's funny because you could tell the white people are like. I don't, I don't think you should be saying this, but then I'll notice the black people are just losing it. That's what's great. That's what's the best. But a good weekend, man. I watched the master. I paid attention to the masters golf thing for the first time in my life. For the first time I'm reaching the age again, almost an adult. I'm almost 30, which will be an adult. And so part of that, I think too, is like, you got to be able to go get through a round of golf. So I'm getting to that age now where it's like a little less, Hey, you want to play tackle football and more like you want to go to the driving range and sip Negronis? <laughs> it's so I uh, I'm gonna try to get into golf. I've paid attention to golf. I want to be involved, and I watched it. And uh, uh, Hadiki took it home. I it was funny. I was like, okay, this this guy he's killing it. Honestly. I think it's bad news for the Americans, to be honest. The Asian people are very coordinated. Very coordinated. You ever seen, I mean, you've seen these people play ping pong. You've seen them, um, any racket sports really, I mean, they're just next level. I, I bet their golf's not as popular over there, but if they get a hold of that, they're just too, they're too coordinated. Hand-eye coordination, unbelievable. You've seen videos of like Asian people, you've seen that videos of the sport where they'll, uh, it's like volleyball with only their feet. I'm like, how is that even possible? This does, deserves more attention. This should this should replace every sport on earth. Have you seen? Just look that up. They're playing volleyball with feet only. They're just kick, bicycle kicking over net. It's crazy. Hideki Matsuyama, he won, and he can't speak English, really, which uh, I thought was hilarious because they sit. It's like Jim Nance. It's the Masters. It's very austere. They're kind of social distanced here. Like. Oh, Dickie, um, congratulations. You did an excellent job out there. What was going through your head uh, over on 18? Because we saw you hit that one shot through the fairway, and it must have been a lot of pressure. Uh, walk us through that. And his interpreter goes, And I'm like, How? is Japanese that efficient? That was what was most shocking. Jim Nance would go, and then uh, Hideki would say that, and the interpreter would go, yeah, he said, you know, it. Uh, he 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 walked up to the green there, and he, he thought through it, and he hit the, the hit the shot, and felt good about it. All right, Hideki. Well, uh, you know, tell us is the first ever Japanese Masters winner. What does it mean to your country over Japan, and 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 for all the future golfers uh, from Asian descent at, at all? Uh, tell us how are you feeling today? How are you sitting there? And the interpreter would go, I was like, how? He said fifty eight English words, and he said maybe three Japanese words. That was all I could focus on during the thing. I was like, how this doesn't make I think he's just because these interviews are BS, I think I bet Hideki I bet he just talks like this. Hey, I'm Hideki, what's up? But they know like these interviews are such BS. Let's just try to not do them. So I think Jim Nance would say all that. And the interpreter would go in Japanese, just say whatever. And then Hideki would go, in Becca Unga. And then the interpreter would go, yeah, he said, uh, the, you know, 100%, he went out and executed, did a good job, and, you know, feels really good, and he's just happy to be a Masters winner. And the whole time he's like, yeah, can we just get on? That, I think that was the strategy. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. If you're if you're a foreign athlete at all, just say you don't speak English, it'll get you out of those bogus interviews. Because they do it. And the golf ones are a next level lame. Like, all right, here we have, uh, here's this other white guy. Hey, you did a great job hitting those golf shots and... Tell us, uh, tell us how it was going out there. You know, yeah, I, you know, hit my irons well, and then I got on the green, and the greens were fast, and I hit it this way, and was able to make a few and miss a few, and you know, happy with the day. And it was like, why are we? This is not insightful at all. Give me some pizzazz here. So I don't know. I, I think Hideki was onto something. I think the guy's next level genius, golf mastermind, and interview mastermind, because he's avoiding these. Oh, he has to light him towards the Olympics. I, I, I heard, I didn't know this. So the masters winners, the, the following masters, they pick the, uh, meal that the, I didn't know that either. that's a thing. So you gotta, we've had white guy after wife, a white guy into this meal, winning this thing, right? They gotta be fired up for the next one. This past ones are like, Oh, great hummus and 
rotisserie chicken again. Thanks, Dustin. And now you got Hideki in here. Who knows what he's coming with? Give us some Japanese flair, dude. You're going to have... Who doesn't love sushi? I mean, thank you, Japan. Who doesn't love... Uh, uh, hibachi's Japanese, right? Oh, I love hibachi. Dinner and a show. It's so good. So that alone, if I'm... The master guys are like, yes, man. They need... They need to like... Next up, man. That's what I would think about. If I was... If I'm in the Masters and some someone from a place that just makes fire food is surging, throw it. Let them win. I don't want to eat. Oh, pimento cheese sandwiches. Yum. Like they're okay. But what? How about let's have a let's have an Ethiopian guy win it. Put a little spicy cuisine in the house. Maybe you know. What are you you're gonna have the British guy win it? Good luck with your bland fish and chips. Hideki. It's the best thing that's happened to golf. Boom. Hideki, congratulations. What do you think you're going to have uh, for the next Masters meal? Uh, because that's always a fun tradition. And, uh, well, the food sucked in recent memory because we, white people don't season their food. So tell us what's walking through. You know, walk us through your thought process. What's up in your mind? Tell us. The tipper just goes, bonk. And that's it. And then it's like, how? I don't understand, dude. It was, I they're, no, they're paraphrasing because it's all BS. And so props to them. I got my thighs out. We're riding up. We're having a good time on the pod. Thighs out, baby. Vibes are up. And, uh, yeah, guys, get tickets to the tour, man. We're, we're already sold a lot of tickets. Thank you. Thank you to everyone held on to tickets. TreyKinney.com slash tour. And I want to apologize. We've, listen, we had a few people be like, wow, no, Utah, Trey. Guys, we're going to bring it to more cities in 2022. I'm just going to tell you that now. We, I know... I think it's all comment. They're like, the Mormon moms are going to be pissed. And I just want to apologize. Listen, all you Mormon moms, you're, uh, time's going to go by in a flash because you're very busy because you have nine children. Okay? But until then, we're coming. Oh, I'm excited for the Utah show. I feel like we're building up Utah. But we're coming to a, every, a lot of places. I know some are left out, but we're going to get to you. Okay? Thank you for your patience. It's going to be a good time, man. I can't wait. Um Oh, and then guys, please, um, for all all my Tracy does out there, give us a five star review on Apple Podcasts. That really helps. Thank you. Tell us what you think, uh, and I, tell us what you love or don't love about the show. Email me seriously. I want to know how to make it better. What you like, what you don't like, what segments you like, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Do you want more guests? Tell me. Okay. Seriously, DM me. Um, but man, we're it's, it vibes are up. It's gonna be a good time. Okay, we'll wrap up with this. Have you all seen Russian slap? contests oh we gotta watch this is the real congress deal this is the real deal we need more of this these if you we're gonna show it two big russians they stand side by side and they just, just trade off slapping the absolute snot out of each other look at this guy this guy this guy's the goat right here oh i mean russia I would be so if someone came out and said, "Hey, Russia actually has never been on Earth. It's like another planet." I'd say that makes sense to me. Oh, I mean, you just—I mean, you guys just <laughs> look at that. Oh, he just slaps him, silly. Oh, he just ate that. Just psh. this is me and my. Uh... This is just guys at the bar at 2 a.m. Oh, he's done. He's done. Oh, look at this one. Look at his arms. Ew. Oh, what are these people doing in Russia, man? Russia is so scary. It's just nothing but... Oh, he just he just clubbed him with this. What are the rules on this? He just clubbed him, just clubbed him with his wrist. Russia, that guy's terrifying. He, these people were, I mean, that guy's arm, he was definitely around Chernobyl when that all happened. Um probably downwind in Russia there. I think Russia, the, all of Russia is just a little nuclear or like radioactive, I bet. There's nothing but vodka and radiation and cold. But I, these slapping box, slap fighting videos are one of my favorite on the internet. You have to check it out if you haven't seen it. I've had, to, I just had to tell you about it. And uh, that, I mean, you can make your Fast and Furious, The Rock movies all you want at the end of the day. 
you have can't you have nothing on the russian slapping contest okay correct opinions y'all thank you for listening yet again episode 83 in the books and uh we will talk to you next week as always do us god bless vibes are up peace correct opinion